Adam Plant was named as a tournament all-star. Tonight, the Warriors would like to congratulate both Adam and Alex with a gift from the Warriors and a shutout sports collectibles. Penalty, and now a chance. McCaskill, a drive, saved as a tell. Rebound, it's in. It'll be Landon Smith's goal. He's got six the lead. It's Mulcahy, yes sir, he's got 18 and all. To the net, Dolman scores! Prince Albert to Prince Albert to the back of the net. Great response from the Warriors shut down line, and you gotta love that if you're Ryland Burster. Back up, here comes the shot from Ferguson. No, it's Landon Smith. Bounces to the net, gets a tell is down, he's beaten by Anderson. Two, one, Silverbacks, a power play goal from Evan Anderson. Lloyd slips the puck to Adam Plant, finds the seam, Masters fan on it again. Plant to Lloyd, Masters, nifty pass to Hessler. What a beautiful goal from the Warriors. Power play marker, West K ties it up at two. Invading the Warriors on drop pass to Ferguson. Space, Ferguson shoots and scores. Salmon arms back in front to, for the third. Time tonight. Scored on, but not a ton either way that way. Either. Warriors are working hard down low and they create another chance. Plan a shot stop by Clark. Rebound. Cotton is tied up. Still roll the backhander wide. Lloyd wins it back. Cotton scores. They're loaded on the Warriors bench. Clear the month for October. Jason Cotton finds the back of the net. Wonderful setup from Seb Lloyd. Tenth of the year for Cotton and the Warriors tied up on home ice. Minutes left in regulation. Jewel up the left. Gets around further to the net. Poke checks. Rebound. Seven arms scores. Thomas Pless on a rebound from Alex Jewel. And the Apes have their fourth lead of the game. At center. Gets around Anholt. Empty net. He gets it to Gillies. Shooting. Scoring. An empty net goal from Alex Gillies. Salmon arm ices it with 51 seconds left. Adam, I want to talk mainly about World Junior A Challenge. I mean, it's an honor just to get to try out for that team, and then you make it, and then you're the only Canadian at the whole tournament named an all-star. Tell me about the experience. Uh, it's it's pretty big honor being named to that team, obviously. Putting on that jersey for the first time is quite, quite, the, uh, quite the honor, and I feel really privileged to be able to do that. Um, you know, it was a fun tournament, lifelong friends, and a great experience. There's always such high expectations when you wear the maple leaf and everyone wants to win gold. Are you at the point yet where you can feel good about a bronze medal and an all-star nod? Uh, I mean, it's not like we, we obviously like our team played, battled hard, and we're happy. We're, we're happy with the outcome. It's not what we set out to get, but you know, at the end of the day, there's six teams that are battling, and if you have one off game, you know, it puts you back a little bit. So. Um, we're happy with the bronze medal, but the gold would have been nicer, obviously. And it's been such a crazy couple of weeks. I'm sure you're just drained and exhausted. Another really hard-fought game tonight. Just let's finish with some general thoughts on this one. Yeah, the guys battled hard. It was a, it was a really hard game for, for everyone out there. They they came and gave it everything they had. Um, it's, been a, it's been a tough couple of weeks, but I think we're going we're gonna to come back and have a strong November. Appreciate your time. Yeah, thanks a lot. Ryland, it was such a close hockey game tonight. I'm curious to know what you thought was the difference. Well, again, you know, special teams play a huge part. And, um, you know, it was just, you know, I think we're just thankful we got one goal on, uh, on our power play. I thought their power play goal was very timely and very key for them and one we'd maybe like to have back, to be perfectly honest with you. But, um, uh, you know, yeah, it was, a, it, was a, it was a close game, but I really feel that they got the timely goals and they got uh, – you know they got they they got they got some good puck luck there tonight for sure. Elaborate for, for me if you would on special teams. Both teams get one on the power play. Are you happy overall with the way your team's playing on special teams, both sides? Well, I think it's it's better than it's been. We hadn't scored a power play goal for a few games there, so for us to get a power play goal, I think was pretty good. And I thought we had a couple good looks. And then, you know, our penalty kill after that first after that first penalty, um, you know, I thought did a pretty good job. It would be overselling it to say that your team's in a massive hole here, that it's dire situation. It's still only November, and by winning percentage, you guys are still in the playoffs. But I just heard you make a comment to Wayne Moore. We've dug this hole, and it's going to be us to dig out. What will it take to dig out? 
Well, that's a good question. Again, I, I don't have all the answers sitting here today. Again, I think we're, you know, we're a team that, you know, still works pretty hard. I still think we have to, you know, cont continually try to do the little things and, um, you know, get better every day. And obviously our special teams are key. Special teams are so key. And when it's like playoffs, like uh, like right now, most games are decided on special teams. And, you, and if you look back at the games that we haven't had very much success and special teams are key. So, you know, we have to improve that area. And that is a lot... Uh, to do with coaching so i mean that's you know we'll take it upon ourselves sir. good man thank you for your time my pleasure